All right, everyone, welcome back. Looking at ACH. So ACH is really doing nothing at the moment. It's kind of just bouncing back and forth like a ping pong ball here in between our moving averages from the 21 up to the 50, 70, back down to the 21. And it's coming back down to the 200 as we speak. So you are sitting at 026 and your 200 is at 025. So if you lose 025, you can clearly see you're going to come back down here to 022. And if that is the case, you want to have a nice bounce here. So if we do drop and we lose that 200 day moving average, that's about another 4% drop. Then you want this 2-2 at about a 16% drop to hold and you want a nice bounce here. If you lose 2-2, then the 1-7 area would be next at this 7-8-6. And you're looking at about a 34% drop from where you are right now. If you drop 4% and you lose that um, 200 day, there's a good chance that the 2-2 does not hold here. Uh, so just be aware of that. Other than that, like I said, you're just kind of bouncing around. You still look good on your indicators here. We just need these to curl up just a little bit more to get some momentum to the upside. Uh, the Heikinashi candles, you can see, still pretty much indecisive on every update here. So we're printing red, but there's shadows and wicks all over the place. So uh, at the moment, ACH does not know what it wants to do, in my opinion. Um, you could have a good shot at something like this if we do come down and lose the 200 day moving average We could come down here and do this and double bottom and that would give us our momentum to blast out of here So that is a good high possibility So it may be a good thing if we come down here and tag the 022 once again But if you come down here and you lose that like I said, you're gonna just start falling off the table down here on ACH uh, in the bigger picture you can see here that it doesn't really look good. We had this triple top here, and then we fell off the table. Uh, but since then, you can see we're making lower highs on the on the grander scale of things. Uh, lower highs and lower lows, I mean. So, you know, there's, there's a bunch of ifs with uh, ACH at the moment. So it's just all going to depend on which one of these levels actually breaks and where we get a bounce at or where we break and where we get rejection at. Um, so if we do bounce at the 200 once again, of course, we got to get back over the 21 at 27, then your 50 at 29, and then of course our three uh, cent area is what we've been watching lately. So three cents is going to get our momentum back on ACH, and actually we can start looking at higher price targets. So that is about a 15% move up from where you are right now. But as of now, like I said, we're just kind of bouncing around. And we're just waiting for one price area or another to break in our favor or, you know, however it's going to play out. So, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now on ACH. And with that said, now financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.